Let's solve this long division. We want to divide 583, which is our dividend, into 6, which is our divisor. And this is how we're going to do it. Does 6 fit into 5? I'm going to give you some time to think of the answer. Time's up. So, does 6 fit into 5? And the answer is no. We need a number bigger than 5. So we get the next digit, the 8. We put them together and now we have 58. Let's try again. Does 6 fit into 58? Yes, it does. 58 is a lot bigger than 6. But how big is it? How many times does 6 fit into 58? For that, we need help from what we have learned before. And the multiplication tables come handy to help us out on these things. And for this division, because of the divisor of 6, we use the multiplication table of 6. There we can see that 6 times 9, there we can see that 6 times 9 equals 54. So at least it fits 9 times. So 6 times 9 equals 54. Here is a quick note. On multiplications, we can switch the factors. And because of that, 9 times 6 also equals 54. In any case, 6 fits up to 9 times in 54. We place that digit, the 9, on top of the 8 to indicate that 6 can fit up to 9 times in 58 and the 9 becomes the first digit of our quotient the result of a division has two parts one is the quotient and the other one is the remainder The remainder is produced when the result of multiplying the divisor by the quotient does not reach the value of the dividend. But more on this later. On this case, 9 times 6 or 6 times 9 equals 54, not 58. This result of 54 does not reach the value of the current dividend, 58. Still, 9 times 6, which equals 54, is the closest we can get to 58, without going over, because 10 times 6 goes over 58. It gives a result of 60. As I mentioned before, 
because 6 does not fit in 58 an exact number of times. This is an inexact division. That means that even though we have the quotient, we now have to calculate the remainder. So let's try to visualize what the remainder is.